naively, I kind of thought that if you took in a child as a foster parent and they couldn't go back to their family of origin, that they'd just be cared for by that family forever. And I know that was naive, but once I figured out what happened to kids who aged out of foster care, if they didn't have family to go to, I, I couldn't unknow that. And so that's when we started taking care of kids who have aged out of foster care as well. The Mirth Project, our mission is to inspire and support low-income teens and former foster youth to go after their goals and achieve them. We started a Christmas in July event to link back to how we started. In 2017, we started linking the Christmas wish list of low-income teens with donors. And what's magic about this project is that I always have more donors than I have teens. And these teens aren't just getting towels and sheets and coats and blankets, they're getting things they wish for, like bikes and guitars and Air Jordans. So it's a pretty magical time. I really see the Mirth Project moving to different cities. I hope at some point that there's a Mirth Project in every major location, wherever there's a former foster youth, I'd like to be there. And the Mirth Project's founder also revealed that they are in the process of developing a project to help provide jobs for former foster youth. What a great cause.